There has never been a greater need for a whole range of medical supplies all around the world like there is right now. Hand sanitizers, gloves, masks, face shields and other protective equipment, not to mention ventilators. Many large Canadian companies are switching their production lines to help. And as Mike Armstrong reports, smaller companies are stepping up too. This is a brand new production line being built from scratch to make a product this company doesn't sell. We have no intention to make this as a business. Yves Dandurand is the president of AdFest. It makes construction products like sealants and paints, usually. The goal is to be up and running producing hand sanitizer by next week. And they're not talking about small batches. Well, we have a capacity of approximately 32,000 litres a day. Dandurand says he'll sell his new product at only the cost of the ingredients. The company's paying for the labour. He's even willing to share the design of the production line in case other companies want to jump on board. Online, available, picture drawing, everything. The critical shortage of medical supplies could cost lives. More ventilators are needed for patients, while protective gear is desperately needed for the healthcare workers treating those patients. Well, some companies are stepping up. The idea is here is to do the right thing. You know, Eric Wazana is shifting production at his Quebec factory. Instead of making jeans, he's now buying fabric to manufacture hospital scrubs. While Canada Goose is shifting some production to making gowns and scrubs, and Labatt, after brewing beer for 170 years, is now also producing hand sanitizer. This plant north of Montreal has a new product. Bauer Hockey says it's now making face shields for healthcare workers that in this crisis, everyone's on the same team. Well, they have teammates. A group of 3D printers in southern Ontario says it's producing shields to help until big manufacturers can ramp up. We're not charging at this point. If I ever did charge anything, it would just be material cost. What we're saying is about time to give back now. Donzeron is appealing to other companies to step forward, calling on anyone who can pitch in to fight a common enemy. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal. We know you're tired and stressed and that practically everything in your life has changed in a matter of weeks. That includes millions of people who are now working from home. So we want to end tonight with a lighter look at the perils and unpredictability of working from home. Here's Mike Jolay. It's official. The so-called covenial generation is driving us insane. This dad's face screams isolation. You're doing just that. Yeah. And if it's not kids, it's our pets. Maybe it's the quarantine talking, but I think cats are up to something. They're always there pawing at something or sitting in a devious way. <laughs> it's different with dogs and all their tail wagging. Isolation has taught us a lot about ourselves and the tidy whitey underwear choice of our colleagues' spouses. We've also learned about technology, like turning off cameras, sometimes the hard way. And my producer, Catherine, learned the art of video bombing from her roommate. My apologies. It's a lesson he could have learned from this man, who rose to fame because of his kids. And who now has seemingly given up trying to keep them out of his office. Perhaps he knows there's no refuge. Hey, I found you. You sure did. Working from home will either drive us batty or get us to laugh at silly things. Like rapper Cardi B jumping through Jenga. Hip hop, hip hip hop, hip hip hop, hooray. Or Rita Wilson trying to rap. Tippy tippy paws, tippy tippy paws. Sometimes creeping up, I eat them up. Your stars are older than Lou Ross. Clearly, kids at home aren't an issue for celebrities. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto. Ho, hey. We know you have lots of questions about this virus. Our Jeff Semple will continue to consult with experts and try to answer them. Email your questions at globalnews.ca. And our website also has a special page dedicated entirely to COVID-19. You can visit globalnews.ca slash coronavirus.